back to my channel it's ashley if you're new if you're not new welcome back to my channel i have another hair video for you guys hair videos seem to do very well on my channel so i'm here with a hairstyle tutorial first thing i'm gonna do is take my hair out of this bun that i've had it in all day this is freshly washed hair feels so good to take the bun out first thing i'm gonna do is drench my hair with water to just loosen it up so that it's easier to manipulate as all 4c hair people would know you never want to try to manipulate your hair when it's dry that's a recipe for disaster Next, I'm taking my main choice 2-in-1 leave-in conditioner. This has been my go-to conditioner lately. I think it goes really good with 4C hair. It makes my hair smell so good. So a quick disclaimer, I put all the product in my hair without sectioning my hair off and I had to go back and add more product later in sections. I should have known better. I don't even know why I did this, but if you're gonna do this I suggest you section your hair off first then add the products now I'm going in with my bio silk silk therapy this is also a leave-in conditioner but it doubles as a heat protectant as well because I will be blow drying my hair Next, I'm grabbing my Chai 44 Iron Guard heat protectant because I'm just really trying not to get heat damage. I already have like damaged ends. I really need to get them trimmed. Then I'm just grabbing my blow dryer and I'm gonna blow dry my hair. Now that my hair is blow dried, I'm just gonna section my hair with the middle part all the way down to the back of my head. Now I cannot see the back of my head, so I'm just feeling for the center. I've done half and half hairstyles before, so it's, I'm pretty sure it's a straight part down the back of my head. Then I'm just gonna grab my Shea Moisture Curl Pudding, which is usually what I use when I do twist outs or braid outs. And I'm going to put that on my hair and brush it in just to give it a more kind of a sleek look because I don't really like running gel throughout my whole hair. I'd rather use some type of cream to smooth my hair out rather than gel. But if you want to use gel, that's up to you. That's cool. And now I'm just going to start braiding my hair into two large braids, two Dutch braids. You can do this hairstyle on unstretched hair. However, I chose to do it on stretched out hair because as thick as my hair is, it's already hard enough to braid it into two big braids when it's stretched out. So I know it's gonna be harder to do it when it's not stretched out, but it could definitely be done on unstretched 4C hair for sure. I just did it like this because it's just easier. Like I said before, I know I need to cut my ends. Y'all don't come for me for my split ends. They will be trimmed. I am well overdue for a trim. And I might make a video on me trimming my ends. So that's one braid down and I'm just gonna do a time lapse of me doing the other side. So after I was done braiding my hair, I was about ready to go to sleep. It was like three o'clock in the morning I was filming this video. So I threw a bonnet on to go to sleep. However, I recommend that if you go to sleep after braiding your hair to tie it down with the actual headscarf. 
because sleeping with the bonnet on actually made my hair super frizzy. I should have knew better than to put a bonnet on. I should have put an actual headscarf on. As y'all can see, I went ahead and put a hair tie in my hair and started to undo the bottom of the braid. Now you can stop right here and let this be the hairstyle and let the hair just hang out freely. But the way my hair is set up, it's just gonna be frizzy and stiff. So I'm just gonna take this bobby pin and flip it around and make some little buns as you can see like i don't know how to really describe it but it's like i just took the ends flipped it under and put the bobby pin in now i'm just gonna try my best to lay my edges i'm not the best at laying my edges because i don't really always go for the sleek looks um but i'm gonna try my best to lay my edges the best way i can if you want your hair to be more sleek then you know you could do that you could lay your edges lay it to the gods if you want but I'm okay with sleek looks but I'm also okay if my hair isn't super sleek because I am natural that's just how my hair looks it's 4c hair 